I'm Monster 1970 and today I'm going to be installing a replacement DVD-ROM drive, CD-ROM drive in this PlayStation 2. The one that was in here took a long time for it to read any CDs or DVDs or any games and it also damaged my one CD, my one DVD. Let's get started. I'm going to flip this over my anti-static strap on. There are three covers on this end that I need to remove. Over here, one here, one here. These are the obvious ones and then there's one underneath here. Take this off to gain access to the screws. This is the warranty cover, anti tamper, whatever. I've already taken it off before. I had this part once before and I had the wrong assembly for it. I'm hoping that this is the correct one for it. the screws should be the same length. different um, lasers for these. You have to look at them to see which one you have. I just matched up the numbers. Now this should come apart. Or laser drive assembly. And this has got two sensors for the lid, one here and one up here, it looks like. Remove. These three screws. There's not four, there's only three. Don't know why. There is a connector right here that you need to remove. And there is one over here. Don't need to remove this one. Leave that in there. Because that is glued here. This one here, you need to remove. And that might be easier to get to once this is out. So you have to remove this one. And then, can we flip this over? Should be able to flip this over. We'll flip up. Like that. Now, let's compare this old one to the new one. It looks like I have to remove this plastic piece off and put on this one. But the laser looks the same, so I would say everything looks the same. Another thing you have to check is right here, 
they usually ship from the factory or ship whoever manufactures them will sometimes put a blob of solder over top of here for anti-static purposes so it's not damaging shipping this company does not put that on so mess with that which is good and take these rubber isolators put them on the new drive assembly so let's see if this oh, this has got one screw holding it on And it is a very small screw. So I'm going to take this off the old one. slide this up in there get this up in there so it's in place make sure it doesn't move and push it back down looks like it's in place Seems to be back in place. It seems to be in good. Not moving anywhere. Pull this back over. Put this ribbon cable back up in here. To push it in place. Same with this one here. Let's be careful. Check that ribbon cable so it's not coming up beyond the laser. Because it could have been what scratched the CD. Now these screws have got to go in. seems to be good. Now let's get that cover back on. I'm just going to blow this out with a little compressed air. I'll put this back on there carefully.
that should do it. I'm going to go and hook it up to my TV and see how it works. Hopefully we're good. Let's see. It's doing something. So that'll do it. So for installing the replacement DVD ROM drive, the drive assembly, and the PlayStation 2 Slim. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will include a link as to the one that I installed. Like I said, you need to look at yours beforehand to make sure that you're getting the right one because they did make a couple different assemblies. And the other one I got was the wrong one. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe.